What is up guys, this is Mr. Isaac16 here, and I'm going to be showing you how to mod your Dark Souls file. Save it. Save editor. So, first thing you need is a USB with your game save on it. So, you're going to want to move either your save profile from your hard drive to your USB, or you're just going to want to start a new game with your USB already plugged in and save it to that. So, once you do that, you're going to want to go to the computer. So we're just going to go to the computer since I already have my save in here. And just plug that right in. It's going to ask you to fix it, assuring that you have already have it as an Xbox USB. And you're going to go, you're going to want to go down to have Dark Souls Save Editor XP Games. And I've already loaded it up and stuff. You can find it on Google. Just put Dark Souls Save Editor. You just want to hit download. And you want to open this. You're gonna need Modio too. You're gonna to need it. You're gonna need another modding tool called Modio. It's right here. It again, you can download it from Google. There's nothing, nothing special about it. You just want to. You don't want to hit Explore Device. From then on, you just want to hit File, Open, Close Device. It's gonna have content. Profile, then it's gonna have Dark Souls right here. Game saves and this drag file right here, you wanna extract to your desktop. Once you've extracted it, I'm gonna replace that one. Overwrite, because I already have one on my profile on my desktop. Once you do that, you just wanna um, go to this, where you saved it to, the, where you downloaded it. Open up the Dark Souls save editor, and then close that down. Wait for it to load. And there it is, Dark Souls Save Editor. And here we go. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to File, Load File from your local, and then you're going to go to Desktop. And you're going to go to scroll down to your Drac file, open that up. It's going to create a backup for you. And you just want to hit load user data. Okay, it has all my stuff right here. It's my character's name. It's going to just have that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to drop bar, all items. And you're going to want to hit right here, the scan only empty slots. Because if you do the other one, it'll mess it up for some reason. But you want to hit that and you're going to hit scan. And you're going to want to add items. You, this is your drop bar. You can add whatever you want now. You're going to want to hit, um, let's say, it's want to add all usable items. I'm going to add all the usable items and just, down here is the, the value of how many you want. So you just add 99 of them. Then you're going to want to hit add items. Hit yes. And then I'm going to hit save changes. It's going to save the changes that I want. And now from that, you can just go, you can edit your attributes too if you go to the file or tools. As you see, here's my guy, he's a pyromancer, level 23. And you can add whatever you want, level, souls, you can enable warp bonfires. Um, you can do whatever you want from that. And then once you do that, you just want to close this out. Or you're going to hit save changes. And you're just going to close that out. And you're going to go to file. Save, fix, and once it finishes, it's going to say saved, rehashed, and resigned. And you just want to hit OK and just close this out. And go back to your file, your drag file right here. You see that? You just want to open up your, the Mario again, delete the original file that was in there, and hit insert. And you're going to want to insert the direct file that you have on your desktop again. Now you can hit File, Open Close Drive, and there you go. It's been modded. It has rehash rehash line. Now you're going to go back to the Xbox to show you. So you just want to put this back into your Xbox. Okay. It's going to hit this, and we're going to go to either your hard drive, memory unit, wherever you have your save profile saved to. You can move your save profile back to your hard drive if you want to. So 
So we start up the game like normal. Load game. You know, Pyromancer, obviously, just... And right now I'm in the sewers, and we're gonna go and look at the items. You see here, I have, these are my normal items that I have. That are picked up through just normally playing the game. And if you keep going down, you'll start to get 99 of whatever <laughs> is usable in this game. And you see there some of these stuff like you wouldn't be able to get 99 of normally. And uh, so the mod tool works and it works really well. All the stuff here is usable. It's not going to like mess up on you. It is all usable. You can all drop it if you don't want 99 of the certain item. But everything is usable. Everything's there. You can you can add items, weapons, and so forth, magics, armors, and stuff. And you can mod your guy's character. So there you go. That is the Dark Souls save editor. And if you need any help with it or have any questions, just leave a comment or a private message me, and I will help you out with it. Later.